Quorum provides instant recovery of data, systems, and servers with the ease of one click. Quorum delivers high availability from a single on-site appliance and disaster recovery from a second appliance at a remote location or a Quorum cloud data center. Quorum takes snapshots of servers and creates virtual clones. If a server goes down, it only takes one click for the appliance to take over. And with on-demand system testing, recovery is assured in the event of a failure. Now, let's look at an informative product demonstration. This is a view of the easy-to-use console that controls the Quorum appliance. The appliance typically resides on the same site as your servers and is connected to another Quorum appliance at a secondary location or a Quorum cloud data center. Each row shows one of three servers being protected. When first deploying a set of Quorum appliances, I click this Protect Me button, which downloads agents to each server. When the agents are installed, I can see this dashboard of health. The green circle indicates the server is connected, and a heartbeat exists between the agent on the server and the local Quorum appliance. Whether a server is physical or virtual, it is called a protected node, and its clone, created on the Quorum appliance, is called a recovery node. By scrolling over the green circle, I see the recovery node clone of the protected node is up to date and ready to run should the need arise. Here I see the status of the last backup, the next scheduled backup, and a measurement of backup speed. When using the Quorum Cloud Data Center service, after initial synchronization of data to the Quorum Cloud, I can see the same measurement of backup speed between the local Quorum appliance and the Quorum Cloud Data Center. And now, for the purposes of this demo, I'll force the SQL Server to fail, and we can see what happens. The SQL Server is now down, and as users submit queries, there are no responses. The users are blocked, but fortunately, the local Quorum appliance is still running. As I look at the Quorum appliance console, I see that the SQL Server is no longer running. In fact, the Quorum solution has already sent an email to me, indicating the loss of that server. During a server failure, if I had been out of the office or even out of the country, I could still access the console through any web browser on a PC, tablet, or smartphone and take the appropriate action. Now, while my first instinct may be to troubleshoot the server, in this scenario I have a virtual clone, the recovery node, ready to run. So before working on the SQL Server, I will unlock the Quorum user interface and bring up the recovery node on the production network. Now I will click over the recovery node tab. I can see that the power state has changed and that the recovery node is booting up. So within just a few minutes, the application and server are back in production. The recovery node has entirely taken over for the protected node, the server that went down. And there is a seamless transition for the users. I did not have to take any servers offline or conduct a restore either from tape or disk. I didn't need to provision any new hardware. I didn't need to create or map to any new storage. Just one click and a server is back up and running. And if the entire location had gone down, the SQL Server and the local Quorum appliance, I would use the exact same process to power up the recovery node from the secondary Quorum appliance at a second location or one of the Quorum Cloud data centers. Now I'm going to click on self-test. I will actually bring a server up to make sure the operating system loads. With the Quorum solution, I can run an automated disaster recovery test every day, which gives me great confidence that the DR plan will work should the need arise. Next is the Retrieval tab, which enables me to fail back the active recovery node to the original protected server. Let's say there was a catastrophic failure and I lost all data on a particular server. In this case, Quorum provides an ISO or boot image that I would load onto my new hardware from a thumb drive or a CD. Or if my server is virtual, I would just boot to that ISO image. The server will then automatically connect to the appliance and download the very latest snapshot. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the Quorum solution. 